Hello Masoka Universe, haven't been making a video review today because it was a quiet day overall, there were no games really to talk about yesterday, at least from my perspective, I mean I'm sure if you're from Belgium or whatever there was lots to talk about, but fortunately that's not one of the leagues I'm following closely and I think same as with the Austrian league, uh, it's not followed really outside of Austria I, I, I would think. So I thought, yeah, let's do a Jersey video tonight that I'll post Saturday morning. It will post Saturday morning, and yeah, and then we have a few games to talk about. And then the trainer carousel started rotating. I'm wearing my Juve shirt. You know the use. You read the headline: Allegri is out at Juventus, meaning his contract will not be renewed. Um, and we will know the details uh, this Saturday. Uh, first thought before we talk about, um, I don't quite understand from the get-go why suddenly Allegri is out of the running. He was by far Juve's uh, best coach. I mean, they won five championships in a row. Yes, they crashed out of the Champions League. But honestly, are there any coaches that are really better suited to Juventus? Juventus is a major rebuilding job, and I think this is probably where the trouble is coming from. That Allegri really wants to rebuild the team, and uh, um, you know, aging defense. You need a midfield player. You have, you know, you have very dynamic players, but you barely have any um, creative player outside of Pjanic. Um, you need someone who gives service to Ronaldo, maybe even in attack. Uh, although you have Moise Kane, you know, it is, it seems like more of a rebuilding job than one where you can stick with the team. And I actually feel that the club thinks that they should still stick with the team. And Allegri is probably not the man for that because he says he wants to um, start from new. And the window is closing. I mean, Cristiano is 34 years old. So for that reason, uh, probably can see why this did not happen. Um, is it the smartest choice? If I look at who is scheduled to replace uh, Allegri, we'll see. I mean, uh, the one thing that I have to say, Allegri, I think, is a great coach. He's a tactical mastermind. Um, at Milan, I think he was he got fired because not because he couldn't really reach his team but the team was decaying around of him he and he didn't get the reinforcements that he needed and so he was shown the door and ever since milan is going more or less so um and it's more down to polar politics than to um allegri i would say but i knew that allegri he built quite a nice milan team there one that should probably have two championships uh, and then even had one run where they finished in third which was a major major uh, task so uh, those were the last great results that Milan had and I think at the end of that season where they finished third um, this was actually um, a huge achievement for Milan back then uh, they were the best team in the second round so yeah um, Speaking of Milan and Allegri, uh, of course, Allegri has stated that um, within two years he's back at Milan. I don't know how seriously he meant that. At the moment, I would take him almost any time. Uh, the other thing that I'm thinking, and that's more direct, now that that is out, what does this mean for Sunday's game against Atalanta? I need Juve to win there. If there's no unrest and Atalanta's unrest, I'll I don't like that. I don't like that. I already see this game and 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 ending a draw, and the draw is all that Atalanta basically needs at Juventus. And yes, they have then the home game at the home ground of Sassuolo because of well, yeah, whatever. So that that was one of one of my first thoughts. But let's talk about coaching carousel. Uh, first of all, who should replace Allegri? And where will Allegri go? Uh, let's look at first where could Allegri go? Because uh, Milan, of course, uh, is one I don't think they can yet afford him. Um, another one, another real possibility, I think, is PSG. Um, he has shown interest in the project of PSG, he has lauded it. 
Tuchel, I don't think it would be fair if Tuchel gets fired, honestly. But Tuchel is a little bit the end of his line there, um, with all the unrest in the squad. And, you know, the atmosphere PSG is not the good one. So maybe they also need a change of things, although they seem to change every time. Um, on the other side, Una Emery also got a second year, so maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. So um, I don't necessarily see him going to the Premier League. Um, I potentially could see him going to Bayern, although I don't think the soccer he plays is really much made for Bayern. But I could actually see him going there. But I honestly would think, uh, and now we're talking carousel, um, I could see that uh, he's going to PSG and then Bayern takes Tuchel. That I could see. Uh, Tuchel would play a style that Bayern plays. Uh, who is going to replace him? I mean, the two obvious candidates, the obvious candidate would be Conte. Um, and probably that's what's going to happen, although Conte is also very closely linked to Inter. Um, both, how to say, both in a way don't make much sense. I mean, uh, they're. Conte has a huge connection with Juve. He was the, the coach that started this period of success. But then on the other side, he was complaining that he doesn't get the reinforcements that he needs. Maybe now that Juve is more willing to spend, uh, maybe this is appealing more to Conte. Uh, so maybe I can, I, I could see that, but I also see that Inter is really, really trying hard to get Conte. And in a way... Um, Inter is known to make those moves. Does it make sense for Inter? I don't know. But let's see how this will go. Um, the other name that is mentioned, the other names that are mentioned are Guardiola, who himself has said he's not going to Juventus, he's sticking there, and I really cannot imagine. Uh, then there's the big genius, former genius, Mourinho, that is um, there. I'm not sure if it's his relationship with Ronaldo, whether he would work there. Also, uh, Mourinho the style of soccer plays you know Juventus doesn't need the siege mentality necessarily maybe they need need it in Europe maybe that's but I don't think that this will work um sorry from Chelsea I don't see it because Chelsea though they want to put another coach well if Conte is going somewhere to get him off the uh, wages to pl uh, pay so maybe they can afford firing Sari. I don't think so and Sari actually if he de delivers the Europa League I don't know uh, Simone Inzaghi has been mentioned I don't see Simone Inzaghi I think Simone Inzaghi uh, first needs to from Lazio I think before he moves to Juventus he needs to take another in-between step and I'm talking about you know not Roma, of course, uh, but I'm talking uh, Napoli, Milan, Inter, those, and then maybe you can move to, I think, and I don't think he fits there. I actually wouldn't want to have Simone Inzaghi. Um, Di Francesco would be an interesting name. I think Di Francesco was undersold at Roma. Firing Di Francesco uh, would be a bad, was a, was a bad thing. I think Roma should have stuck with him. They have a young, young squad he would have built. I think he could actually, I would like to see him there. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. Anyway, this is the first stepping stone. I think more are to come. I mean, the other one, uh, there's one more, Didier Deschamps. With a huge Juve past. I think he was a Juve coach. So it's going to be interesting. Um... But I think with Juve falling, falling, the Juve spot opening and Allegri on the market, we know that Inter is probably going to get a new coach. We're going to know that most likely Milan is getting a new coach. Um, so in Italy we have movements. We have movement for sure. Uh, or it seems like PSG will have movement. Bayern probably is very much uh, put into... The, the coaching change is likely, especially if they don't uh, win the championship tomorrow, or even if they only win the cup. Who knows? And even if they only win the championship, Bayern will not be happy. So I think the double needs to be won uh, for Kovac to have a chance. I, to me, Kovac is only a transitionary coach. Uh, so yeah. And in England, we have Chelsea, who is not happy, Manchester United. 
I mean, Solskjaer has it, but if you can get a huge coach, who knows? And then there's a whole other story. Um, Pochettino has been hinting that if he wins the Champions League with Tottenham, he might step down because he cannot take it anymore. Pochettino at Juventus. Would you want to go to finally a club that spends money? Where he can build something? I don't know. So a lot could happen. And I think that we will see quite some coaching changes. Um, I'm very curious where Allegri will land. I think Allegri is a very interesting coach for many teams. Um, the one thing with Allegri though is that he is tending to be a little bit too cautious. So I think he might only work for the Italian market. Roma is also an opening. So I mean the four of the big five teams in Italy uh, will probably have a new coach come the next season. So that's potentially quite exciting. Um, I would love to have Allegri at Milan. Absolutely. Uh, I think he has some unfinished business there and it given, this, it given the proper support, I think he can do something there. But that remains to be seen. Uh, and it might have really international implications. Uh, for some reason, I don't see the Spanish teams being involved. Um, Valverde, I don't think he's getting fired yet. Um, and I actually think, uh, I was talk, talk, talking to colleagues, I think that Barcelona is probably uh, waiting on it for Eric Ten Hag. Because there are already enough Ajax players migrating south to Barcelona. I think that sooner or later he might end up there. Um, and up, up, up until then Valverde secures you the titles. And maybe, just maybe, he might deliver the Champions League. Um, but they need to change something there. Remains to be seen. Very interesting. The first domino is falling. And now I think it's going to be a very interesting summer on the coaching sector. Uh, the other one that needs to fall yet, uh, we know already two uh, players, big name players that are on the market. We know that um, Griezmann is on the market. We know that Eden Hazard is on the market, more or less. I mean, it's not confirmed yet, but uh, possible landing spots, of course, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, and then a lot of things. And I think that Real Madrid probably will be a big player this summer. Um, and that will also cause some turmoil. And I would be surprised if Bayern has something to say. We'll see. The Empire strikes back very, very often. Maybe that's what's happening this season. Anyway, let me know what you think about, uh, first of all, Allegri stepping down. Where do you think Allegri is going? Who will, who will be the replacement at Juventus? And any other coaching rotations that you can think about. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my take on this. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.